Oh, Miss Venezuela, this is your question. How old were you when you started designing for your TikTok corner jersey for Venezuela national soccer team? We're gonna have fun. <laughs> I was 17 and I was arriving to study fashion design in Italy. So my dad was a soccer player and then he was a soccer coach. He still is a soccer coach. So I grew up with soccer around. And it was an interesting experience because I was just arriving to study. You know, I, I didn't have much experience. But I took the chance and I think that's something that has characterized my life. You know, like taking the risk and going after it. Hello, Miss USA. This is your question. What would you say to those who question if you are credible winner of Miss Botito Corner 2023? Gabriel, it's a dream come true to be here. You know, I've learned from that, and I guess background, as when I won Miss USA, there was false allegations that it was rigged, and this was seen in the public eye. It was on the media outlets and news everywhere, and it was very sad to see because all of my hard work felt overshadowed. And something I would say to people is, I believe everything in life happens for a reason. I questioned, why is this happening to me? I felt like I didn't deserve it, but I'm a person of faith, and I feel like God was giving me this challenge to overcome and to show everyone that even the negative comments and what people say do not define who you are. And I feel like because it was in the public eye, I've shown people resiliency. I've learned to stand strong in who I am, stand strong in my truth. And for people that still don't believe, I just work hard every day. I'm working hard here at Miss Universe to show why I deserve to be here. And I just hope time will just allow people to see more and more of who I am. And I just believe the hard work will show for itself. Your question What have you enjoyed most about being here so far in what people corner and what? Oh, good evening. I would have to say meeting all of the girls. Uh, I think it's interesting. I'm someone that loves to learn different languages and cultures, so I'm always asking them to tell me or teach me new words. Hello, Miss Curacao. This is your question. What did you growing up with different background teach you? Okay. What did you growing up with different background teach you? Cultures in the family, you learn something so different about each of them. And my mom is like super warm and she comes from, uh, from Suriname. So in Suriname, the people there, they have a very like religious and very warm culture. And my dad is from Brazil. And in Brazil, they're very like outgoing, very dynamic. So I had, you know, like those different roots within me. And I think growing up, it teaches you to, you know, be open minded and to connect with more people from all cultures and all walks of life. So. Hello, Miss Dominican Republic. This is your question. How do you study a book challenge you and what you learn from it? Okay. How do you study a book challenge you and what you learn from it? It was very challenging because it was the first time that I stepped out of my house by myself. Um, I went to the, to the U.S. with my family and my brothers, but I was surrounded with my family and my nuclear um, group and community. But when I went to Spain, I had no resources. I went there on a um, bank, which is basically like their school gives you the money to go. And so I was very fortunate. It was challenging because I was the only one there that was in that situation. So I felt like I had to prove myself more, get the better grades and during the time. But honestly, I learned a lot. I think it was transforming in a way that I learned that I was more independent. I learned how to cook different things on my own over there. And I think it honestly shaped into the way that I am. And now I want to travel the world and it kind of like inspires something in me for travel.